I've got the Hover Air X1, but for me it isn't protection enough with the included pouch when I'm out mountain biking. I need something very robust that can take my whole body weight in the event of a crash. So I found what I need on Amazon, but I will also mention a couple of alternatives which might suit you better. Before I reveal my mystery package, I will tell you what I use today. I've got this old GoPro case that the GoPro came with. It's actually the perfect size if you want to have both the drone and charger plus batteries in the same case. There's even space for a power bank, which is good enough for about 10 drone batteries. That's kind of neat. But for me, this isn't good for two reasons. Firstly, the case is not sturdy enough. It would definitely buckle under my weight and the drone can get damaged. Secondly, it's too big to fit my pocket. On top of that, it's not exactly waterproof either. For hiking in the woods, this is perfect, but not for mountain biking. There are other cases around which are very sturdy and waterproof. I got a tip on my other channel about this case, which seems to be of decent quality, even if I haven't seen it myself. There are a few videos here on YouTube, which suggest that it might be a good alternative. But it's too bulky and to be able to fit the drone with the case in my pocket, I need something smaller. This is what I found on Amazon. It's a Lycus HC1410. It comes in different sizes and I got the smallest of them. They say it's splash proof. I think it is, but I wouldn't exactly submerge the thing. But at least this gives peace of mind if there's rain or mud out on the trail. It only fits the drone and that's what I wanted since the case would be too bulky otherwise. could squeeze in a battery here on the side, but I don't feel comfortable closing the lid then. Too much of a squeeze. I keep the battery in my pocket since I don't need to crash protect it. There seems to be some sort of ventilation port here, so again, don't put it under water. There is some padding, both in the lid and on the floor of the case. The drone is squeezed into place between them and it doesn't rattle around because of this, which is perfect for me. But I do think you need to carefully place the drone a small distance away from the walls to not squeeze it too hard. The cage is somewhat fragile. This is absolutely a heavy duty case and it can take my full weight without any flex whatsoever. The negatives then. The drone doesn't sit perfectly as it does in the case from Zero Zero Robotics, the makers of this drone. There's still some space around it. Then the latches take up some space, which prevents me from having this in my pocket. But that's actually not a problem, since I just got this fanny pack, which I will use on my mountain bike rides. It's a three liter bag with space left for my iPhone, wallet and keys. Finally, I can ditch my six kilo camera backpack. everything I need right here. That's it, short and sweet, link to the case below.